Welcome to Do Not Visit, a series where I talk about the places of A Game of Thrones, the a Song of Ice and Fire world that you definitely don't want to visit. Ever. And I know what you're thinking. You have nothing to prove. Don't do it. This episode of Do Not Visit, I want to talk about Gogosis, a place I don't even want to think about. It is the thing of nightmares. Gagosis is part of the Basilis Isles and sits on the Isle of Tears, already a great name, which is north of Sutheros. It is the largest in the chain and is roughly on the northwestern coast of Sutheros. The island itself is filled with twisted, windswept rocks, rugged flint hills, steep-sided valleys, and black bogs. It also holds remnants of an ancient civilization with ancient ruins. Which I know, remnants of an ancient civilization and windswept rocks, not that scary. Well, let me tell you a story that will let you know how probably fucking haunted Gagosis really is. This island is the one you definitely didn't want to visit back in the day. The old empire of Gis, one of the oldest known nations in the world of ice and fire, used to control much of Essos thousands of years before the Valerian Freehold was founded. Part of their expansion was creating a city called Gorgai on the southern coast of this island. They held this territory for two to four centuries before eventually the Valerians discovered dragons and everything changed. Dragons are just way too OP. Using dragons, they gathered more and more power and soon contested the old empire of Gis. Thousands of years ago, five great wars were fought between the two and in the third war, it spread to the Isles. The Valerians successfully captured this city on the Isle of Tears and to add insult to injury decided that the name just wasn't cool enough. So instead they changed it to Gagosis. And let me tell you, under the Valerians, yeah, it was definitely a place you just didn't want to visit. The Valerians decided the city would be used as a penal colony and to house the worst of the worst criminals. Just rotten criminals who would live out their days in hard labor. Because they were deemed so awful in the scourge of society, the Valerians used this colony and the criminals to test new methods of torture in the flesh pits. Yeah, they had fucking flesh pits. These criminals were victims of blood magic of the darkest kind. So definitely don't travel back in time to visit this place when the Valerians controlled it. I know what makes a place haunted. Torturing people in new and delightful ways is how you get your place haunted. There's also claims of forcing slave women to mate with beasts to produce twisted half-human children. And who knows if these half-human beasts are still roaming the area. I'm gonna guess yes. This location continued to serve being a prison until the Doom of Valeria, where it became known basically as the 10th Free City, even though the location was made powerful due to slaves, as they were no longer under the control of the mostly dead Valerians. During the Century of Chaos that followed the Doom, called the Century of Blood, which is just a wonderful fucking name, the city grew in power through their use of slavery as notorious as the cities of Slaver's Bay, and of course, sorceries. It's always about sorcery. This all ended 77 years after the Doom of Valeria when it said the stink finally reached the nostrils of the gods. You know it's bad when the gods finally are like, yeah, we need to, we need to intervene in this shit. It's just, this has gone too far. In the city, in the immense slave pens, a disease broke out. It was dubbed the Red Death for its ability to cause bleeding from every opening of your body. The plague quickly spread to the other isles and was devastating. It would take about a hundred years before anyone dared settle the isles again after the Red Death. So even if you didn't visit during the time of the Valerians or when the Red Death hit, I still wouldn't advise going here. It's definitely haunted and there's ghosts that will do freaky things to you. I give this 10 out of 10 nopes. I don't have a death wish. I think. Nope.
Alright, let's go to number two. Basilisk Isles. So, not too far. You just go a little bit over to the east. Uh, you know, these isles, they are the worst of the worst. If you are an awful person, if you love to torture puppies, if you applauded when any of the dire wolves died first, get the hell out of here. But two, <laughs> you belong on these isles. These are just, the maesters say, this is the worst of humanity. And you don't live long on these islands. If you go there, you are going to have a short, miserable life. So one, you know, that's what they got going for them. Some really nasty, shitty people. There's a lot of slavery. These people go around, they will enslave you, they will take you back to these islands, so it's pretty bad. So you're thinking, yeah, that's maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but there's a specific place in here that perhaps you wouldn't have wanted to visit. It no longer is there, but it was Gogosis. And what happened with that is it originally was Gorgai, and it was controlled by the old empire of Gis. But when the Valerians got dragons and figured out they didn't have to take their shit anymore, and they went crazy with power, they started fighting them. Well, they eventually took a city on these isles and decided they were going to change it into a slave labor camp. And that's not all. So the worst of their criminals would go there, hardest labor possible, but they also used it for flesh pits. And they also used it to perfect torture. So anything under the sun they could think of, you know, if I cut off your fingers and then I try to attach it to your face, I mean, just any sickness you could think of, these guys were right there. And not only that, they used the people there to experiment with blood magic. Any type of magic, they didn't care, because these people were criminals to them. This, this was the worst of the worst. Why do, why do I care what happens to you? And where you would really not want to be here is when the Red Death broke out. So they say that it was such, and this was after the Valerians finally got destroyed, they were left there, and they're still just being their greedy little assholes, they're being criminals. And they say, the maesters say that the gods, the stench of this place got so bad, the gods went, no, no, we've had enough. And they first, right to that city, sent the Red Death. And I don't know if I wrote down the exact, oh, I shouldn't read the exact description. Oh, not out of every 10 people would die. When it first broke out there, they would die screaming, bleeding from every orifice. And imagine what every orifice is. Yeah, every orifice. And not only that, you had your flesh falling off your bones with the first one. This one, your flesh would just start ripping. Like wet parchment, wet paper. It just would start splitting open all over your body. And they said every, nine out of 10 people just died screaming. So is this a, is this a five for you? Because he... <laughs> Very curious. How, how do you think you would die here? Whether you want to say with, you know, the penal colony or before or after, the pirates, doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a little bit higher. <laughs> <laughs> it's five and a half now. What is, can I be that one person? Because you're saying nine out of ten. Is that, 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 that is true. Or are they just mute? That's what they <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, so, um, I, I would try to play dead. <laughs> as long as they don't torture me with, like, tickles or anything. Like, I can That's die. exactly how they're going to torture those Valerians. They're going to be like, hey. <laughs> can, we just not go? can we just not go to this place? Uh, no, you have to at least be there for an hour. Okay, I'm going to rate it pretty high. Uh, on your note level. I'll give it a 9. 9.5. This gives you a 9. My god. Alright, a 9. <laughs> no tickles. I don't know. No tickles. And no tickles. If it's tickles, it's a 10. <laughs> I would give that about a, I don't know, 7 or 8, only because you could possibly avoid people, maybe. <coughs> Not necessarily depending on a, a, a disease, like the first one. Yeah. Did you just skip over the how you die? Oh, is that your answer for everyone? Well, I would die. First of all, boy. first of all, take that way to go. I just don't know what, what can I bring with me. I, anything you want. Well, within the realm of this time, you can't bring a lightsaber or anything. No. Like that. <laughs> okay, never. Mind. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to die. Sounds like I'd die horrible though. Yeah. Without fighting, for damn sure. Yeah. All right. Is that fair enough? <laughs> How would you guys rank these islands? Can't show of hands where you're at. Ten. 